Hi guys and welcome back to another episode with Drone Mesh. So today we're going to be testing Dal RC Engine FC stack. So we've already tested the all-in-one flight controller with this ESC. This is the best budget ESC you could possibly purchase on the damn planet, which is pretty insane. It was a previous video. If you missed it, go ahead and check it out. So we already tested the all-in-one flight controller. Today's video is about our stack, which this stack is just an amazing, amazing, amazing Gorgeous, beautiful stack. So this is the second best 4-in-1 ESC I've tested, but it could be the first, uh, depending on how you look at it. The first one is the Tico 32. However, the capacitor array, some people are popping off the caps due to the standoffs. However, this one's pretty um, compact and well protected. Let's leave it at that word. Plus, it's soft mounted, so it's very nice, and it does have pins. So you could also consider this one of the best. It is one of the best 4-in-1 ESCs. Now, Dallas also released the flight controller which goes to this guy, and they connect via pins. Now, many of you said uh, they've had you know issues with the with the Emacs. I think Magnum breaking because of the pins and stuff. But these, you know, you you get both. You get the flight controller and the ESC soft mounted, and it takes 13 millimeters of stack height, which is just minimal. It's just insane, and it keeps the overall build clean. So, let's talk a little bit about something I ran into a little issue before we begin and jump into the FPV noise testing. So one of the things that I ran into was the fact that when I first put it all together, I didn't connect it via pins because I need to, I cannot hijack the ESC signal to make it to make the motor do what I want to do so I can make noise. So what I did is I connected it via the wires, everything is fine, everything booted, but I had no video feed. I had just black, so I thought the OSD chip was dead. Um, and then, you know, I replaced it. I ran the, you know, the wires, the yellow wires to each other direct. Still, black video feed. Black video feed means your camera's not working. So what's this issue? What's this issue? So I said, you know, what? I'm going to test the 5 volt regulator because I removed the 9 volt and I set it to 5 on the camera. And um, there's no voltage. There's no voltage on anything that's 5 volt. So if you ever build this without connecting the pins, you have to give it to power supplies. You have to give it the battery voltage down here and then you have to give it the 5 volt in. The 5 volt in is what powers everything else that's 5 volt. The battery voltage powers the 9 volt regulator on board. So take that into consideration because I literally pooped myself when I thought it was broken and I was like, uh oh, now we're gonna have to go and tell everybody. So yeah, make sure I almost came here and I made this video saying, oh, something is wrong, blah, blah, blah. But no, it's not. You have to do, you have to give it five volt. The, the instructions don't really say that, but you have to take that into consideration. You need to give this board the battery voltage and the five volt regulator. If you're not using this guy, take that into consideration. And uh, yes, you just, yeah, keep that in mind. All right. So enough about that. So there was no issue there. It's just the way that the instructions were made were not very clear. And I'm glad that's all sorted out. So what we're going to do today is we're going to test this the same exact way we tested this. We're going to do throttle noise test and custom noise test. Custom noise testing is when I just like bash it out. Like if you're flying, doing maneuvers, just generating as much noise as possible from the motor back into the system and seeing what gets affected. And we're obviously listening and recording the FPV video feed to see how well this plays out. And like I said, this is the second best ESC on the planet. Even if it didn't have this 9 volt regulator on board, you would have still had an amazing video feed. But with this 9 volt on board, it's perfect. Um, yeah, literally perfect. I'm saying perfect. It's the perfect video feed. This combo and this combo. This is like noob friendly status best setup so far I've seen till this day, which is pretty damn insane. And um, I'm in love. I am literally in love with this setup. So enough talking. Let's jump to the testing and you guys check it out for yourself.
All right, guys, so the testing is done, and um, yeah, I, I, this is exactly what I expected, and this is exactly what we got. We got the perfect results. You do see some noise. Obviously, it's totally fine. This is not very bad noise. Noise is always going to be in the system. However, this amount of noise is just absolutely phenomenal, and it's gorgeous. However, if you notice the 9-volt regulator, the one that was on the bottom, it kind of amplified some of that noise. But even though that it did, everything stayed absolutely phenomenally clean in the video feed. Uh, so that is very nice to see. And this whole setup is just perfect. That's all it is. You know, I highly recommend this setup. This one, this setup here with the 4 one ESC or this setup here, which is the all-in-one flight controller plus this fly color. You could use a Tico 32. You could use any other ESC. This is the best budget ESC I've ever seen till this day. It even performs, outperforms mid-class and even high-class ESC uh, ESCs, which is which is it's incredible. It's literally incredible. Um, so yeah, these are the best stacks currently till this day, which is which is uh, March thirty first, I think. Yeah, March thirty first, two thousand eighteen. This is currently the best setup I've ever seen and I've ever tested. And um, yeah, it's just insane. It's it's really good. I mean, the data speaks for itself. You guys see everything, all the testing, and um, nothing failed. Like literally, everything is running. And plus, this ESC is on my favorite quad, so that alone is like i fly that one like a trillion times per day well not a trillion times per day but i fly that one the most and um never any issues that's why i i really love this one and um especially with with their you know the whole stack is just gorgeous but take that into consideration about the five volt with this board here and i think that's going to conclude it for this video guys i really hope you guys enjoyed it please consider joining my patreon help support this channel help keep it going the same way it's going and um you can also use the fill links down below those greatly support the channel you don't even have to purchase the same thing just click on the link before you purchase anything from banggood and that really supports the channel it really helps the channel i also have the drone mesh shop which um basically i talk to vendors if I test something that's very good and I really recommend it, I talk to the vendor and I ask them to get it to us as cheap as possible and then we get limited quantities that I sell for everyone for absolutely cheap. This supports the channel somewhat slightly, but however, in the end result, it, it just gives back to everybody. So obviously, if you get this for cheap and you try it and you're like, holy crap, it's good, then obviously you're going to re recommend it for your friends and that's the whole idea here and, that's, and at the same time, give back to you guys for something something back obviously and these are directly from the vendors whatever's on the website and i put some awesome cool stuff there so i really hope you guys enjoyed it and uh please consider joining the patreon and i will see you next time see you guys take care